Hello, uh, I'm James from the Alternative Energy Store and we're here today with a unisolar 64 watt module that's had a rough go of it. Um, generally what we like to do is take out modules that have suffered some shipping damages uh, that are rare but sometimes they occur to make sure that they still function to see if we can use them for our purposes at the learning center for testing or for fun or if you know they're eligible to sell in, as scratch and dent units and as you can see this particular module had a pretty tough go of it. What we're going to do is test to see if it's still functioning appropriately electrically. It's interesting to note however that if this were a standard uh, low iron glass module that it would have completely shattered uh, and would have been useless to put in outdoor applications but because this is a unisolar that lacks the glass um, it's far more durable and the, the aluminum frame doesn't really serve to encapsulate it since it's already encapsulated it just serves to provide a, a sturdy mounting surface so even if we beat on it it really does not affect how the module functions electrically I bet that this module will perform uh, up to specs despite its severe bend so what we're going to do now is take a quick look at what the specs should be rated for the module here. And then we're going to take out the, the cover of our junction box and take a multimeter to it and see how it performs. So the first measurement we're going to do facing south will be to go ahead and test the voltage. So here's the inside of the junction box and you can see there's the plus, there's the minus, and by looking at the instruction manual, we know that the two outside terminals are the ones that we want to be testing on. It's important to remember that in sunlight, photovoltaic modules will be live, and there is the potential that we could hurt ourselves uh, with uh, sparking or any other type uh, of activity. So we want to use caution and make sure we're doing things appropriately. We've got our multimeter set to DC volts at the 200 volt marking and oh, we almost forgot we need to switch the lead from amps to volts this is a very common mistake um, one of the things you want to do before you start using anything is test that your equipment is functional and safe and that also you've got everything set up appropriately for what we want to be testing so now that we're set on volts and we've got our voltage setting here to 200 we're going to go ahead and test the open circuit voltage so I'm going to stick the positive here on the positive terminal and I'm going to stick the negative here on the negative terminal. I expect to see something around 22 volts. And there we are at 21.8. As we change the tilt angle from vertical, if we were to drop it down a little bit more towards the latitude we are here, uh, we may see this increase. There it is, 21.9. And That's probably the best we're going to do today but the open circuit voltage is rated at 23.8. That's a little low, but certainly well within specs, uh, especially not for being at the perfect tilt angle. What you would expect, nothing irregular here. The next thing we're going to do is test for the short circuit current. We'd expect that number to be 4.8 amperes. What we need to do, however, because we don't have anything to cover up the module completely, we want to turn ourselves away from south to north so that when we put the leads of the multimeter on the module we don't have severe sparking because again photo photovoltaics in daylight are live we can't turn them off so what we're going to do is push them the leads of the multimeter firmly we're going to be set to DC amperes at 10 amps knowing that we're not going to get above probably four or five we're going to press firmly and then rotate the module back to south so we can see what the appropriate reading is. There's the positive, and thank you. Here is the negative. So now, keeping these firmly pressed in, we're gonna turn back towards the south. At vertical here, we're reading 4.2 amps out of a possible 4.8 of what's the listing on the module. So as we lean and become more perpendicular to the sunlight, we're going to see that this number is going to increase. And here, we're at the short circuit current. In fact, we're six hundredths of an amp over. And as we get a better angle, we'll notice that again, this is performing 
at or above the specifications listed by the manufacturer. So this module is certainly working properly and we'd probably be fit to use it for our own purposes or to sell to somebody if the frame could be repaired. Thanks for joining us today.